Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will draw a ladder diagram from Boolean expressions. So let's look at the example first. Example 17. Y is equal to A B naught C plus D naught plus E. And then Y is equal to a naught plus B naught into C plus D E. So we will start with the first one that is Y is equal to A B naught C plus D naught plus E. In this case, we will use normally open contacts for the inputs A, C and E. And then we will use normally closed contacts for the input B and D. So firstly, we will connect A, B naught and C in series, thus implementing AND gate. And then in parallel to A, B naught, C, we will connect D naught and E. So in this way, we will implement OR gate. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert, where we will draw a ladder diagram for this Boolean expression. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. Then I can also go to serial line where I can select protocol. I will select it as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the Boolean expression. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert one normally open contact, one normally closed contact and then one more normally open contact and then I will connect it in series. So we will implement AND gate. I will insert one normally open contact and then one normally closed contact and then one normally open contact. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as A. Yes. And then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as B. Yes. And then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as C. Yes. So here we have used normally closed contact. So we have implemented NOT gate. And then we have connected these inputs in series. So we have implemented AND gate. Then then we will insert one more normally closed contact in parallel with A, B, not C. And then we will insert one more normally open contact for the input E in parallel with A, B, not C or D, not. I will insert one normally closed contact and then one normally open contact here. I will assign address to this contact as I. 0.4. I will also add symbol to it as D. Yes. And then I will assign address to this contact as I. 0.5. I will also add symbol to it as E. Yes. And then I will insert a coil here. So I need to connect these contacts. I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. 
So here we have used normally closed contact. So in this case we have implemented NOT gate. So we have connected D and E in parallel with A, B not C. So here we have implemented OR gate. Then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0, .0 and then I will add symbol to it as Y. Yes. So for output Y to be on, either A and C should be on and B should be off or only D should be off or E should be on. So when A and C will be on, B should be off, then only Y will be on and D should be off then also Y will be on or E should be on then also Y will be on. In case when A, B and C all are on and also D is on then output Y will be off. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So, when D is off, the output Y is still on. And then when I turn on D, and then when I turn on A and C, the output Y will be on. And then when I turn on B, the output Y will be off. And then when I turn on E, the output Y will be on. So for output Y to be on, either A and C should be on and B should be off or D should be off or E should be on. And then I will exit full screen mode. I will go to commissioning and stop simulator. And then I will go to programming. I will click on here and delete this now and then I will add a new rung here. So here I will draw ladder diagram for the next boolean expression. That is y is equal to a0 plus b0 into c plus de. So in this case we will use normally open contacts for c, d and e and then we will use normally closed contacts for a and b. Firstly we will implement OR gate with input A0 and B0 and then we will connect the input C in series with A0 plus B0 and then in parallel to A0 plus B0 into C we will connect D and E and we will connect D and E in series. I will insert two normally closed contacts and I will connect them in series and then I will insert a coil here. Then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0, .0 and then I 0 0.1 and then I will insert one normally open contact. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.3 that is C and then I will insert two more normally open contacts here and then I will connect it by drawing a line like this. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.4 that is D and then I 0.5 that is E. And then I will assign address to this coil 
as q 0, 0.0 that is y so here we have connected a naught and b naught in parallel so we have implemented or gate here and then we have connected c in series so here we have implemented and gate with the output of a naught plus b naught with c and then we have connected d and e in parallel to a plus b into c so here we have implemented or gate so for output y to be on either a or b should be off and then c should be on or d and e should be on so when a and b both are on then output y will be off and also when d and e are off then the output y will be off so for output y to be on a or b should be off and c should be on or d and e both should be on and then also y will be on so i will exit full screen mode i will compile the program and then i will go to commissioning and launch simulator then i will start controller to do so click okay i will go to programming tab and click on full screen mode so for output y to be on a or b should be off so when i turn on a and turn on c the output y will be on and then when i turn on both a and b and also c the output y will be false so one of the two inputs either a or b should be off so when i turn off b the output y will be true or when i turn on d and e the output y will be on it was all about this example thank you for watching